guys. So I actually just got the um, Jaclyn Hill um, Ring the Alarm Morphe, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Ring the Alarm palette. So um, I have felt it. I stuck, you know, my finger in and swatched on the back of my hand. Um, I love the feel of them. They feel like super soft and like just creamy, but not like cream, but like just such a creamy powder. So I'm really excited to use it. This is going to be the first time that I'm actually sticking it on my eyes. I just got it um, last night and, you know, I want to, I figured I'd do, you know, my first impression with you guys. So as you can see, I already did like my main face and I'm baking right now. So um, we are going to get into this and see what we think. My makeup brushes need washed. I mean, you can judge me for that if you want, but, you know, I kind of judge myself for that, but, you know, it is what it is at this point, and I'm getting ready for work, so. Okay, first I'm going to go in with the color Rush, which is right there, and this is just a Tarte eyeshadow brush. I honestly don't remember which one it is, but I'm just going all along the crease with this one. That went on super nice. My eyelids feel dry. Is that weird? My eyelids feel dry. Like it's winter time here and snowy and I can tell that my eyelids are dry. Isn't that terrible? Just ignore the fact that my phone is ringing. Okay, so, hmm. I think I'm going to take Oh my goodness. <laughs> today is just not my day, I'm telling you guys. So today, uh, so, ugh. Next I'm going to take Alert, which is this one over here. These are kind of like orangey shades, which is like my new thing I'm like totally into. So we're going to take that, and I'm just going to kind of go along the crease again, but like not quite as high. And I'm going to bring it over a little bit, a little bit onto the lid, nothing like crazy or ridiculous. There is literally like no fallout at all in the palette. Just throwing that out there. I swear to goodness, nobody ever calls me this much, ever. Can't. I can't even. Mental note. Take the phone out of the room before you video. Hi. Okay, what I'm going to do next is ignore the phone. I'm going to take Framed, which is the one that I smudged and swatched on my hand. Oh, the sun kind of went away and that like made my... Oh, it's making me look so shadowy and terrible. There, leave it. There we go. Framed. <laughs> I'm going to put that... We'll just see what we do with that. I'm going to... I'm sorry, guys. I, I woke up this morning with a cold, so... I'm not at my best today. And apparently everybody in the world wants to talk to me. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to put it even a little bit lower, I kind of under the crease, I guess, if you will, but um, I'm going to do like the halo shape. I've been seeing this and I'm like really intrigued by it. So, holy pigmented. So basically, what I'm doing 
is making a mess on my eyelid. <laughs> no, I know. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to put more on my brush because I'm so used to having to do that. But I just stopped myself because, like, I didn't need it. I didn't need more. I have a skinnier brush. This is, like, a cheap one. It's Beauty Seek. No. Face Seekers. I don't even know where it came from, honestly. I like the worst beauty guru. I'm trying. That's what's important, right? Okay, I do feel like I went a little bit overboard with this color. Because I seem to be losing... The other ones that I'd already put on. So what I'm doing is I'm putting some here. I'm going up along here, skipping this middle part, and then putting some down here. This side looks darker, but do you, like... I feel that way like all the time pretty much when I do my eyeshadow. I'm always like, this side looks darker, so then I put more on the other side, and really, it wasn't. It was just like my lighting or the way I was sitting or something, and then I just end up with like this big disaster on my face. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that first color that we used, the Rush, and I'm just going to go back over, like, I like to refer to it as the high crease. It's basically like right under my brow bone. Just to kind of like smooth and blend this out some. And put a little bit of that color back in there. I am telling you guys though, these are so pigmented and so pretty that like I'd rather have to go back over and put a little bit more on because like I lost some rather than when you have to like keep piling it on, piling it on, piling it on because it's like just non-existent. Um, I have a little cream shadow brush from Unique. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go in to uh, this color right here. It's called On Camera. And I'm going to put that right in that middle spot that I skipped. It's going on a little bit lighter than what I was hoping for. So what I'm going to do is I use the Skin Fix um, Coconut Water Hydrating Mask. That's what I use to, like, if my makeup ends up getting too dry from baking or whatever, I spray that on my face. But I also use it to spray my brushes if I want them to be wet, so... I just spray a little bit of that on my brush, and then I'm going to go back into that on-camera color. And we're just going to pat that in. That's way better. It was definitely there the first time, but I just wanted it to be like a little bit more bright and intense, so just like that pop of sparkle right in the middle of your eyelid, so, but all you have to do is wet your brush, and it's good to go now. I was going to do like a cut crease halo eye, but I decided not to get into all that on the first go round with this palette. I really want to go back, I think. This is when my too much jean kicks in, which I always laugh when I watch Jenna Marbles because she says that all the time. The first time I heard her say like she had a too much jean, I'm like, yes, yes, me too, that's where I'm at. So I'm going back in with that first color again, and just adding a little bit more up here. Not because they're not pigmented. Actually, that framed, that like darker purpley color that I used was so pigmented that like, that's why I feel like I need this. 
which I probably don't because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in and I'm going to take this smaller brush again and I'm going to go back in with that frame because this is who I am as a person and I'm just going to really stick it in in my actual crease. Can you hear my neighbor's dog barking? Everybody hates my dogs and they never make a peep. They just don't mind because they think they're scary because they're pit bulls, but they're the biggest babies in the whole world. Anyways, um, I'm really happy with this, actually. I want to take a color under my eye. I just can't decide which one I want to do it with. I think I'm going to do it with this alert that we used um, in the middle. I'm going to actually take, go back to my tart, like, fluffier brush. Because I want it to be, like, pretty dramatic under there. Which I'm also, in turn, brushing away some of my baking. But, you know, that's inevitable. And putting that powder in my eyeball. I just naturally want to keep dipping in. Because, typically, I have to. But you really don't need to with these. Like, at all. So when you see me doing that, it's not because, like, the color is not there. Like, you could see, like, it's there, trust me. I just have, like, this. I'm literally just going like this. Where I'm, like, touching it with my brush because it makes me feel better. I don't know. I can't explain it. So I took that real, like... under my eyes like pretty good now what I'm gonna take is I'm so sorry guys but like this cold but like I had to use this palette today to go to work because I just got it and it's beautiful so but I wanted to film you know my first impression of it so I have to deal with my cold okay so I'm taking this tiny little slant brush it this is honestly I don't even know some cheap little Jex Juxy, Juxy, I'm probably butchering that, 215 small angle brush, and I'm just sticking this right under my lashes. I don't know if you guys can hear my husband sneezing, but like I, you know, we all have this cold right now. So, I'm just sticking that under there just for like an extra little bit of color. It's so pretty. This is also my problem. Like I said, my too much jean. I, um, like, especially when I get like a really pretty eyeshadow palette, like I just want to keep piling it on because I don't want to quit because it's so pretty. But I am going to quit. So, the only thing is, this doesn't have, like, a lighter highlighty shade in it, which is, like, fine, because I have other ones. You know, I know that bothered some people that it didn't have it right in there, but, like, I'm just using my Ulta. This is, doesn't have a specific name. I think I got it in a big kit. I don't remember. But it's just Ulta. It has a, two bronzers and a illuminating, diamond illuminating powder, a blush, and then the banana setting powder. I like the highlighter in the middle. So, we're just going to go back in. I have paper towel. I don't know if I said that down here that I brushed my brush off in between with the, the highlighter. And we're going to put it right under my brows. I like to sweep it a little bit down around here because it kind of helps just like finish blending like that edge. It could sometimes look a little rough. And 
I'm going to get back to that small brush and put just a little bit right here. Just for a little, a little pop. Okay, so all in all, my opinion on this, um, no, you know what, I'm not going to talk about my opinion yet, because I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish, I'm going to do like my eyeliner and my mascara, just finish everything up, and then I'll be back to give you my opinion. Hang on, guys. Hey guys, so I'm all finished up with my makeup, and my final um, thoughts are this palette is amazing. The colors are amazing. I love them. They are just so beautiful, like rich colors. Highly pigmented. Go on like a dream. Blend like a dream. Um, I'm just in love. I'm in love. It's probably going to be my new favorite palette. So, you know, check it out, guys, and uh, let me know what you think. Make sure you, um, excuse the kid noise, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel. I would really love that. And, and you can check out the rest of my videos. See you next time, guys. Bye.